following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Come in, New Orleans. Is this not the Mardi Gras? Yes, this is the Mardi Gras. Is this not the carnival? See, this is the carnival. Carnival? Carnival! Mardi Gras? Mardi Gras! Whoop did a high high, cha cha cha! program this week is from the wonderful world of make-believe, where it's carnival time. The wonderful world of color is brought to you by Eastman Kodak Company. Kodak, the dependable name for quality. In cameras. In film. In pictures you'll treasure, now and for years to come. And now your host, Walt Disney. Something's mixed up. This is my program off. It's my time to stay home and watch the program myself. Your host for this show is none other than the famous lecturer, psychologist, philosopher, and authority on most anything you care to mention, Professor Ludwig von Duck, I mean Drake. See, his subject is uh, Mardi Gras. I'm glad I was reminded of it. Well, we might have missed it ourselves, huh? and directed by Professor Ludwig von Drake, starring that ace commentator, Ludwig von Drake. How do you do from coast to coast? This is Ludwig von Drake, your ace commentator reporting. <laughs> Step three. All right, now we got all these clocks over here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. What am I saying? Good night, and I haven't even started yet. <laughs> all right. Well, now there we Now we begin. All right, now the microphone. Where's the mic? We gotta have a mic. Now where? All right, hold the program. Stop the cameras. This is it. The program's over. Where is the microphone? What am I gonna stand here and yell all the way across the country with this? You, little guy, over here, very skinny, that skinny fella. What's the matter with you? Don't you know enough to take off your hat in the house? <laughs> oh, there you are. How do you do, Mike? <laughs> yes, yeah, nice to see you again. All right, now. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three, eight. That's the size of my hat. Hello, 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 hello. They don't call me Ludwig von Nutley for nothing, you know. Now, on tonight's special, special, extra special, special Van Drake report, I'm going to bring you for the first, for the first time on TV, all of the color and excitement, the glamour, the, 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 the wildness, the gaiety of the Mardi Gras. Now, we're not going to bring you just one Mardi Gras, but two Mardi Gras. Two for the price of one. But the one Mardi Gras is direct from New Orleans up here under us, in the U.S., somewhere. And down here in Rio, in the heart of South Africa, uh, South America. Now, 
That's exactly 4,796 and a half miles apart as the crow flies. And I ought to know because we've just before the program, I've been out and I flew it myself, then boy, my arms were so tired, <laughs> I can hardly lift a pencil. <laughs> oh boy. But you don't have to worry about that, because on my TV monitor here, in a we are in colorful city of Rio. And in another we are in New Orleans. And say, hey, things are really bouncing up here. And whoops, ha, black and white, we are in color. <laughs> I guess I got my mixed up somewhere. Ah, here's New Orleans. Rio again. New Orleans. Rio. New Orleans. Simple, isn't it? All right. Well, anyway, I have South America's most famous correspondent stationed here in Rio. Jose Carioca. And in New Orleans, uh, we have uh, the New Orleans. Uh, the, where did I put that other reporter? <laughs> How do I get him? I must have dropped him here. It, yeah! <laughs> I think I just located the other correspondent. <laughs> Way down south in 60. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> How do you like that? I've been stuck with this pinhead before, you know. Anyway, Donald Duck is covering New Orleans. Now, where are New Orleans? Let's see. Here's Tallahassee, Chattanooga, Pomona, Las Vegas. Here is Los Angeles. Well, it's got to be around here someplace, and we're going to find it if it takes all night. Ah, here we are, down by the old Mississippi stream. Did you know something? Did you know that New Orleans is lower than the water level of the Mississippi? You didn't know that, did you? And you want to know something else? I don't believe it, either. Now I believe it. Oh, that's pretty juicy down here. <laughs> All right, now to New Orleans and the gaiety of the Mardi Gras. But first, I want to introduce my ace reporter over there. I quote, Donald Duck is famous throughout the world for his spectacular on-the-spot news can. An alert, wide-awake, daring reporter. Hm. Come in, New Orleans. Come in, Donald. Donald, come in. Wake up, you cooking nut, you reporter down there. What are you sleeping already? Um, um, good morning. This is your ice colors, well, while we're waiting for my wide-awake reporter to wake up, I will take over personal. Everybody dresses up, even the building. Ooh, look at that patriotic bow tie. Well, we can all see it's pretty early here in New Orleans, but already there's a few early birds about. There's about two of them. Or five or six or who knows? They probably haven't even gone to bed yet. <laughs> It's carnival time! This is it. This is carnival time. If you frown, you're committing a crime. Winter's over, spring is here. Everybody give a cheer. It's carnival time. Oh, this is it. Oh, the big day is here. Time for fun. Time for laughter and cheer. Everybody's in the spirit. You can feel it, you can hear. It's carnival time. I sure hope these Indians have reservations. You know something? People have been preparing all year for the Mardi Gras. And you know something else? It looks like some of them haven't even finished yet. They are still shopping. They're buying beef. They're buying bangles, lots of souvenirs and shiny bangles. Fancy costumes for one and all, and brand new faces for the costume ball. This is it! This is carnival time. If you frown, you're committing a crime. Winter's over, spring is here. Everybody give a cheer. It's carnival time. After a year of preparation, you'd think that these women would have decided what hats to wear. Well, that's just like a woman. You know those beads? Every year, tons of them are thrown out for souvenirs during the parade. And I'm not stringing you along. Big parade! Soon we'll circle the town. There'll be blues! And confetti and clowns! 
Everybody said to happy and it happened but the year had gone time. See? Already the kids are warming up, catching those bees. Soon as the last float leaves the barn, you know what? They start building next year's float. Carnival is so important to the people of New Orleans that all year long they are preparing for it. It's still pretty early here in New Orleans. Even the rabbits aren't awake yet. So, while we are waiting for things to warm up, let's switch down to Jose Carioca and cover the Rio de Janeiro beat. And what a beat this kid's got. <laughs> I call Jose my singing reporter. His commentary really swings. So now let's switch over to Rio. It's three hours later down there. All right, come in, Rio. Come in, Joe. Jose. 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 Jose, where are you, Jose? What? What is What? What? Aqui, senhor. Bom dia, meus amigos. Morei no assunto, tá? You wouldn't dare. Wow. Singers and jump down here. Look. And you know something? They have been jumping like this in Rio since the first carnival was held in 1641. And I know that things was jumping. Believe me, I know, because I was the reporter and I was the announcer on every one of this for the last 300 or so years. <laughs> Amigos, everywhere at this time the carnival is spread, excited the people. All business is closed. <laughs> most famous square, named after one of Brazil's presidents. His name was Floriano. Yo! Look at you, crazy nut, you! What, a, what, what is this, Sammy? How do you like that? <laughs> I thought he was gonna hit me right in the kisser with that kisser. Just think, right now all over the world, in Paris, Nice, Rome, and Venice, people are celebrating like this. Wonderful Martha. Just look at the smiling faces on those kids there. I tell you, good nature is the rule of the Mardi Gras. Well, this fool, this is an on-the-spot report, and we don't pull any punches. Carried away down here. <laughs> In fact, they carried away about 15 of them. All right, well, here we are back in New Orleans. Oh, listen to that beat. Oh, that's cool, man. Crazy. <laughs> oh, that's a real genuine Dixieland. Get the lowdown straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, I, I mean from the duck's bill. Flash, this is like a great turtle spider. Flash, come and get you for blue organs. I'm coming in in a minute. Flash, flash. Flash him right out of you. Two down, flash. Ooh, there, yeah, that's better. Ooh, I tell you that voice. I couldn't understand one word he was saying, didn't you? All right, from now on, I'll do the commentary. I'll do the comment. I'll do the ca I'll do the talking. Well, things have really picked up up here. <laughs> 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 
even a cute little bunny there as a way. A cute little bunny. Oh, just look at that lively mob. They packed in like herrings in a sardine can. <laughs> oh, look at the spacemen. They're gonna run out of space. <laughs> well, anyway, one of the brightest features of Mardi Gras Day is this parade put on by the Zulu Aid and Pleasure Club. It was started over 45 years ago and has been one of the zaniest all-out-for-fun parades in New Orleans ever since. got a jam session going on down there. Let's tune it in. <laughs>
for New Orleans and Dixieland. Let's go back to our reporter in Rio. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Looks like a Roman square dance. <laughs> no, senor. We call the musical statues. When they say go, they go. When they say stop, they freeze. Oh, I see. They freeze. Like Roman Spumoni. <laughs> oh, he moved to the merit. Go. Deus me esqueci completamente. They still freeze. <laughs> well, from the looks of it, you better defrost them. Oh, sing, sing. Go. <laughs> Go. Oh, moment, I thought they had rigor more, rigor more, rigor more. They sure were stiff down there. <laughs> I thought the motors had stopped running. All right. Well, it's just about time for one of the big parades in New Orleans. Looks like they're almost ready to get underway. I see they're putting the final touches on the float. I was telling you about. Did you ever see such a mess of bees? Most 
I will show you the route it will take. Just so you don't stand on the wrong corner and miss the whole thing, because you never know. Starts over here on St. Charles, then it turns down the oil over to Canal. Pours down Bourbon and Burgundy, past Antoine's. Staggers up Orleans, then it rips the tram part, and then we're gonna go in, you know, hey, but, 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 who did it? But it's, hey, the light, the light, who turned out the light? Ha, 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 ha. Well, anyway, you get the general idea of it, isn't you? Well, the parade is getting out of the way. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. And here comes the train wreck. What a boy! Sounds like a mixed up cookie cement mixer. We got with us now one of the outstanding reporters of all time, a commentator who is known throughout the whole world for his ability to be able to commentate. Me. Now here's a couple of historical, uh, historical facts about the parade. In fact, about three historical facts, in fact. All right, now here's fact number one. Number one, did you know the first parade was in 1837? I bet you didn't know that, did you? Two, did you know that the first float appeared in 1839? <laughs> bet you didn't know that either, did you? And thirdly, did you know King Rex ruled for the first time in 1872? I bet you didn't know that either. <laughs> now you know. for those beads. <laughs> you know, you never can tell. A bunch of these kids get together and they're gonna buy Manhattan. I got a whole bat full of these beads. And if you think it's easy to take a bat with a bat full of beads in there, you are cookie yourself. and Jose and catch the carnival parade in Rio. It's night down there already. Yeah. From Caracas with Maracas, from Bolivia with the belt, everybody congregate the carnival. Where is bangers, where is bangers, come the dance boys and girls, Avenida Rio, Branco Carnaval. You will love the indication, like the dancer and the musician, you'll be dancing, you'll be singing every ball. A brilliant panorama, medio guide and a drama, the exotic, the pinotic carnaval. The brilliant panorama, medio guide and a drama, the exotic, the pinotic carnaval. Maracas, 
As you can see, it's night here in New Orleans. Mardi Gras night. <laughs> the night when the carnival really rocks and rolls, with dances and parties going on everywhere. What? Right now, they're throwing balls all over New Orleans. What? And tonight, we're going to see how many of these balls we can hit. What? Barely never see what they're making. Now, the first one we're going to hit <laughs> is on the other side of town. What? Get of the town. Right. Pass the ball of the town. Run, run. <laughs> yeah. He goes. You know, confidentially, I can't stand that loud mouth. I can't stand any kind of loud mouth. I don't like anyone who just talks and keeps on talking all the time. And he keeps talking. <laughs> That's the reason we just sent that duck on a wild goose chase. <laughs> Let's switch over there before that windbag gets there. Well, here we are in Brennan's famous restaurant and a typical formal party. Everyone's having a ball at this ball, even the musicians. <laughs> You can see the kids have fancy costumes, their own entertainment, and they even have their own king and queen. They are picked for their popularity and personality and good marks in school. And if they play their cards right, maybe someday they will be king and queen of the whole carnival. have a ball during the carnival. Even the older kids. 
In fact, they seem to be having more fun than the younger ones. Wonderful. Oh, I hope I'm that spry when I'm 39. is a beatnik party with a real beat. to make this year elaborate costume board. And this is the climax of the whole carnival. The tune they are playing is the theme song for the carnival. It's a real oldie, this one, about a hundred years. It's called, If Ever I Cease to Love. If I Ever Cease to Love after a hundred years? You know, social clubs sponsor these boards. Aren't those gowns beautiful? Everybody tries to outdo everybody else. And from the looks of it, they did it.
are on the spot of a board on the spot. And now it's time to get rid of this King Kong kip. Now for the most important thing about a carnival. You know what that is? The most important thing about a carnival is the carnival spirit. Everybody's loaded with it. The spirit, I mean. For weeks, the spirit gets you inside and becomes bigger and bigger and bigger like a balloon. And on the last night, that's when they have the biggest blowout of all. See what I mean? It explodes all over the place. <laughs> Whether you are in New Orleans or Rio or wherever there are carnivals, the spirit gets you. Rio. New Orleans. Rio. New Orleans. Well, it looks like I just lost a couple of reporters. <laughs> to tell you the truth, that's not much of a loss. Well, they can't help it. They haven't got any willpower. And you've got to have willpower. Yes, sir. I'm full of it, willpower. And the spirit isn't going to get me. Because when Van Drake has a job to do, he does it. And then that's why I'm the ace commentator. And that's why the... the, the, um, the what was I commentating on? What, what, uh, oh, yes. The, the carnival spirit. I, I guess it, uh, it's irresistible. It, it can... can Dangerous. It, it's like a disease. It gets you. It gets you. It lets you forget your care. From AM to PM. There's mayhem everywhere. I mean, it's murder down there. The rhythm of the Mardi Gras will mesmerize your heart. The carnival will carry you away. Olé! Olé! What did I say? It gets you. It gets you. It sets you in a spin. It flips you. It grips you. My fight is the carnival will win.
you forget your cares. Oh, nay, yes, that's in the morning. To be yes, that's at night. Nay, yes, everywhere. I mean, it's swinging down there. The rhythm of the Mardi Gras will mesmerize your heart. The carnival will carry you away. On a stretch, I may be. Olé, olé. What did he say? It gets you. It gets you. It sets you. It a sin. You know something? It really gets you. <laughs> Mark Twain wrote many fine stories. One of the most unforgettable of them is the classic The Prince and the Pauper, a most remarkable story that unfolded far from his beloved Mississippi River. On another continent, in another century, during the reign of Henry VIII, like most boys, young pauper Tom Canty dreamed of being a noble prince. But unlike most boys, a strange twist of fate lets Tom's dream come true. I swear to you, no one will know the difference. Oh, my Lord, forgive me. No, it's wonderful. Now, in your rags, I can get away from the palace and see the real world. Be free for once and do just what I like. Prince Edward, in pauper's rags, finds the freedom he is seeking, but falls victim to cruelty and bitter hardship. Pauper Tom eagerly masquerades as the prince until he learns the terrifying truth that he has suddenly inherited an empire. Long live the king! Long live the king! Or not, you're a gallant lad, not lacking in courage. So I'm on his side. Take George to the rescue, eh? <laughs> Join Guy Williams portraying the swashbuckling Miles Hendon and the remarkable young Sean Scully playing the dual role of Prince and Pauper. Next week in the exciting adventure story The Prince and the Pauper on Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color has been brought to you by Eastman Kodak Company for Kodak dealers everywhere. If you're planning a trip, buy Kodak film and Kodak prepaid processing mailers at your dealers. Kodak will process your Kodachrome slides or movies and mail them to your home. This program was photographed on Eastman Kodak film. <laughs>